Sweet Sir is opening a new residential program next month to better the lives of young people uh, ages 18 to 24. And here with us to discuss is Doug Weaver, Sweet Sir's adult residential director. Doug, thanks so much for coming in today. Hey. Appreciate it. So what makes this program different from anything else that's available? So I think what makes this program really amazing is that it is for transitional age youth um, who need a supportive but uh, therapeutic living environment. So this is their home. This is where they live day in, day out. Where uh, young adults are gonna be provided with individual and group treatment. They're going to be exposed to skills building, uh, independent living skills or social skills that they're gonna be able to carry on with them into their future when they graduate from the program. Yeah, so really important. And, and why this particular age group? Well, we have, we have services for children and we have services for adults, but this is kind of a missed gap in coverage. And they are going through a pivotal time in their life, that transition into adulthood. And um, things we know is that uh, on average youth in the U.S. are not expected to reach self-sufficiency until they're 26. Mm. But children who are exiting the foster care system they're expected to reach a level of independence by the time they're 18 to 21. So it makes it difficult. Yeah, uh, interesting point, that gap, uh, you know, that gap mm -hmm. there. Um, so this, you sort of touched on this, but why is this program needed right now? Yeah, so young adults need support. Mm -hmm. They need treatment and tools to be successful to live the rest of their lives. Um, and some things that we know is that youth that are transitioning out of the foster care system, uh, are at higher risk of homelessness mm -hmm. and unemployment. And then youth that are transitioning out of juvenile justice systems, they, they have a higher percentage of uh, being rearrested within three years of their release. Uh, uh, Eye-opening statistics. So how are youth recommended for these kinds of programs or this program in particular? Yeah, so majority of our referrals come through um, the state of Maine uh, hospitals or maybe the, the, the correction system. All right, Doug Weaver, Sweetser's Adult Residential Director. Thank you so much for coming in. We yeah. appreciate it. Thank you.